Hey, YouTubians, Wolf Pack, how's it going? So, welcome to So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator, and this is um, revamped uh, by request. So, uh, there's a name for it uh, Second City, or whatever, you know. Um, but anyway, so I uh, used to do a series called So You Want to Be Investigator, So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator, but every taste. Uh, yeah, but, uh, so now they want to, uh, everybody's asked me to redo the series. Um, so here we go. Now, uh, for myself, speaking for myself, of course, uh, one of the main things you, you need, uh, are trigger objects. Okay. For me, trigger objects are, uh, a mainstay uh, of getting really good evidence. Okay. Now. Trigger objects don't need to be expensive. Cheap as hell is best dollar store stuff, you know, whatever. Um, for instance, um, these balls, okay? Got two balls. Uh, they came in a package for a dollar. And I think there was three of them, but I gave one to Luna. <laughs> but anyway, uh, these balls are really good. Um, my little buddy made these for me. I guess he's not such a little buddy anymore. He's not old now, so. Uh, but one of the favorites that I got, um, and it seems to be a favorite of the spirits too, and, and the YouTubians are my little chickies. My little chickies, um, uh, I got, I think there was six of them in the package for $1.50 or whatever. Um, they get, the spirits really like those too, okay? Um, last place I went, uh, my little skulls that I got off a necklace uh, was also given to me uh, these little skulls and dice okay are some of the ones that I use quite often I got some new new things the other day I got a cow and I left the base on it okay the little plastic base it comes with um, they stand perfectly fine by themselves but with the base um, there's no chance the wind's going to blow them over or anything like that. Okay, and then I got a little piggy. Like link. Little piggy. And I got, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my ass. There's my little ass, you know, uh, to get lots of views. I got the ass. So anyway, so I got those three uh, to go with it. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna just turn this a little bit so you can see the table down there. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Okay. So let me just close this. So what I like to do is, if in a room or or you know you're on a location or whatever, I might set up the three little chickies like this, right? And I'll say, okay, spirits, if you want to play with the chickies, you can, or you can move these little balls, right? Now, what I also like to do is uh, use a K2, brand new battery in here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Okay, there we go. All right, so there we have it. So I'd want to set that up like that, right? And I got this little tiny camera that I like to put it so that it shoots at the screen, you know, uh, that way you can see if anybody interfered with anything, right? And it might catch some stuff on there. Plus, you can also, if you want, Set up a little digital recorder or set player, or whatever. Leave it on the table like that. And then vamoose, right? Leave it alone. Uh, it's best to put it, if you can, in a room uh, and close the doors and windows and everything, have it sealed. And just let it go by itself, you know. And say, hey, spirits, if you want, you can play with the little chickies. Or you can play with the balls, you know. If you want, you can talk or you can touch the machine and make the lights go if you want to, right? And then just walk away. And that's what I do uh, when it comes to trigger objects, okay? But 
I think my most expensive trigger object was was my donkeys, you know. So now I've got lots of trigger objects. So I might set this up in one room and go do the same thing in another room. And I might put the donkey and the piggy and the cow. Well, I'm going to. I <laughs> haven't done it yet because I just got them. Uh, put them up. And I'll probably put, oh, let's see. I got these uh, little dice they can move. So I'll put the three dice there. Just tell them if you want to move the dice. Now there's three dice for you if you want to move those. Or, you know, if you'd rather, hear some skulls. Because sometimes they actually ask for the skulls, which was really cool on one episode. Um, I said, what would you like to play with? And they said, the skulls. Where do you want it? And on top of the box and one on the bottom. It was really cool. Uh, just check it out. That was at uh, King's uh, Asylum. Anyway, so... I'll set that stuff up like that and just let it run, you know, and um, and then I'll check it later and see what kind of stuff I got. And, and usually I got some really good evidence with the trigger objects. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. So, yeah, so for episode one, uh, um, so you want to be a paranormal investigator, our trigger objects, right? So... You set them up anywhere. That's the great thing about them. You set them up, leave them. Don't even think about them. Go about your investigation uh, with all your other equipment and try to get evidence. And then later, uh, you check out your cameras and everything else in your recorders and see what you got uh, with the trigger objects. And, and a lot of times you do get stuff. So for me, <coughs> I mean, yeah, uh, if you're first starting out, all you really need is your phone, you know. Uh, you can get a good a couple of good apps on there uh, for the Spirit Box. Uh, myself, I like the Raptor. Uh, but there's all kinds of different uh, uh, stuff out there. Uh, Ghost Tube uh, by Amy Script, that's a good one. Uh, her and Jared made those. Well, actually Jared made it, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of really good uh, apps and stuff that you can get. Uh, you can get yourself an SP7 box, whatever. But as long as you got two phones, okay, you should be fine. Uh, and basically, it's just you want one for recording and one if you want to run apps so that you've got the extra the extra thing there. And, you know, zip off to the dollar store somewhere or the bargain shop or the or bargain tree or wherever uh, and go, you know, Halloween or Christmas time. They always got little chickies and stuff like that. Um, and just go to the dollar store and pick up some little tiny toys, you know, because the bears love to play with them, you know. Um, so yeah, that's it for, for that. Uh, and of course, you can use trigger objects of that location, which also helps. So say you're in a mail shop or something, or a mail right shop, and you, you, bring a, you might bring a wrench or two, or a couple of screwdrivers, or, you know, things that they'd be accustomed to using. Um, can also elicit, uh, uh, elicit some responses, okay? Uh, but for myself, seriously, get yourself some trigger objects, uh, some way to record the stuff when you're not in the room. Don't be around them. Just close them off completely from yourself and everybody else <coughs> and let, let it do its thing. And uh, I think you'll find that uh, very satisfying. And you'll get some good evidence. So there you go. So that's So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator, Episode 1, Series 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.